Mallow, I will no longer tolerate the shenanigans that you've been pulling on my server. Consider yourself de-opt. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Zach here, and welcome to a special type of video. Uh, it's kind of a trolling video, but uh, technically I'll just be giving you some tips and tricks on uh, how to troll and how I do things, my style of trolling, and uh, how you can do the same if you have your own server you like to troll on or if you make trolling videos for to YouTubes. Either way, uh, these are just some tips and tricks that you can use. So I have my body actor here, Mallow. Hello. Hi. We got into a bit of an argument earlier, but I think we settled our differences. So uh, we built this house with Allie, uh, Terps, and I made the floor. We got some redstone blocks, some quartz. Mallow made all the fancy and or the hoppers, and then I added the stuff on top. And then we over here we got a day sensor or a day sensor. So when yeah, daylight sensors. Cause when the daylight comes, I'll have to go. That's copyright. Okay, so uh, you ready to do this? Yes, I am. So Mallow is deopt. Um, you should know why if you watch the beginning of this video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be going through a few of these things that I like to do. So Mallow has his um, his victim point of view camera on. So you can see me right now, right? Yep. And when I vanish, now can you see me? Nope. Okay. If I drink this milk bucket, now can you see me? Nope. Okay. Awesome. So uh, this is what it's like to be vanished. As you can see, he cannot see me. So if I go down into this cave down here, um, that looks nothing like a cave, um, I can disguise as Herobrine, Herobrine, and sneak up on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Herobrine. Okay, so then I come over here, undisguise, and do a little double vanish before he can see me. And can you, can you see me now? Can't see you. Exactly. Can you see me now? Oh. Nope. Awesome. So that is how Herobrine works. Um, all the plugins that I will be using to troll in this episode will be in the description. So it'll include Essentials, uh, Disguise Craft, World Guard, uh, World Edit. Well, I don't, I don't know about World Guard. Probably not. But yeah, all those things. So Herobrine done. So that is how Herobrine works. I disguise, and he sees me as Herobrine. So next is the disappearing house. So Mal, if you want to go look through your chests and stuff while you're inside your yeah. house. And I'll switch over to your camera. Um, we kind of want to get the floor gone too, so we'll get all of this in here. Up one. So you take world edit, you select both the regions, and then cut. And this is what happens. Your house is gone. What the heck? Well, with this specific design that we did, you can still see the glowstone and the dirt beneath and the cave. But I mean, with a basic house or an underground house, this works really well. Second is if I expand vertical and then I regenerate the region, it looks as if nothing was ever here. <laughs> so a lot of people okay. uh, who watch my videos do not believe that I actually can undo when I do this, and because I don't always do it on camera, they don't think that I roll back everything. But that would be griefing, and griefing is not good, right, Mal? Not at all. Yes, Mallow knows best. Be so really, you can see if I just type undo. That undoes the or undoes that, and I do undo again, and his whole house is back. All of his items are back in his chest. Yes. I can break that glass. The only thing is his piston is a little glitchy, but that's an easy fix. And I think the signs might remove, but I'm not sure. Nope, signs are even still here. That's pretty fancy. So that is how the disappearing house trick works. And if you're really funny, you can do redo, undo, and just kind of. You can even power tool those to sticks. I'll show you how to do that. So if you take like uh, a door, for example, PT um, slash undo, I think. I don't know how. I don't know exactly how this works. And then slash PT redo. And then if I go undo, undo successful, redo, redo. Yep, there we go. Undo, redo, undo, redo, undo, redo. <laughs> So that's how you can make a um, flickering house. I think I did that in one episode. So that is what that does. It does undos and redos if you set it to power tools, which are pretty awesome. So when you click, they execute the command. Apparently you can make lots of doors with that too. 
<laughs> yeah, because right, the doors. doors tend to drop. So that is the Disappearing House. And now, uh, this is also kind of scary sometimes. Um, I'll just kind of look at these bookshelves over here. So if you're just looking at these and they start to break, what does it look like? like scary, maybe? or It's pretty scary. I imagine oh that would be. Oh, God. Oh no, God. no. You know, it's coming at you. Hide in my mind. You can't see it coming. A little stair shaft that goes nowhere. <laughs> and then <laughs> oh it starts God. hitting you. Hit. Right, now you're stuck. There you go, sir. I made you a path out. Eh. So, we're not going to fix that because, you know, not really, but this isn't okay. an actual real trolling video, so I'm not going to undo this. But maybe we'll repair the house just for memory. So that is random breaking blocks and stuff. Um, also, that comes with water. So if a stream of water just came down on Mallow from up here, this rushes past the doors or the gates and just pushes him back and he doesn't know where the water comes from. And then you drain. Oops, I don't know how to drain apparently. Ten. Yep. So that is how, yeah, random blocks just kind of appearing and disappearing. Kind of scary. Um, it's fun to mess with people with. Four mm -hmm. is invisible mobs. So, Milo, if you would please leave or uh, dismiss yourself from the house. Thank yep. you very much. So, say, uh, I haven't done this in a troll yet. I will eventually, though. Take a whole bunch of chickens. Just place them everywhere. Actually, I think I can use power tool to my advantage. Spawn mob chicken, like, 30 and then just chickens everywhere so this is the advantage of power tool which comes in the essentials uh, plug-in pack so this is how you fill someone's house with chickens uh, when they're not looking so that is a lot of chickens um, they're still spawning so we're gonna get some lag now <laughs> yeah I'm getting some lag <laughs> so if I make these all invisible the lag should go down a little bit not too much though because their entities are still here technically but yeah um, just kind of make them all invisible while we lag. Ah, lag spiking, you know, that's that's something you can do for fun, too. <laughs> Did I spawn a little too many? <laughs> I think I'm getting 6 FPS. <laughs> I don't even want to know how many I'm getting. Okay, here, let me uh, kill all the chickens, and I'll, I'll put a little bit less in. I spelled kill all wrong. That was odd. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. There we go. And, okay, I'll try this again. I'll try not to spawn as many, though. So just spawn that many. And if I make them all invisible, um, Mallow, enter your house and just... What do you hear? Lots of noises. Lots of <laughs> annoying chicken noises, to be exact. I want to get out of here now. And you can't exactly see where they are. These little particles look like they're actually coming from the ground. So it looks kind of spooky. Yeah. So he can't, he can't really tell what's going on. Just see a whole bunch of chicken. They're not invisible. Ah. So I think this is pretty cool. I like, I like doing invisible, invisible mobs, especially hostile ones. So if I just took some, some zombies, spawned them all outside of his house, and just made him invisible. Mallow, go outside your house. So there's just some invisible zombies out there. See, they just start attacking him, and he can't even see. <laughs> Doesn't know where they are. Just kind of freaking out. So that's basically how that one works. Uh, let's do a quick kill all of everything. Okay, so yeah. Here, would you like a milk bucket? There yes, you go. I'd also like some food. Oh. Well, aren't you just so needy today? <laughs> Here you go, you have a few pork chops. Okay, so five is music. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear this one, so uh, I'll mute my mic and he can mute his. And this is just kind of... Something I like to do a lot, actually, but I don't do it much as it's not that interesting to watch, but it's a really good troll. Um, so, Mallow, would you mute your mic? Yeah. We'll be silent. That's a note block, not a jukebox. That was a really stupid mistake. <laughs>
they changed this since last time I listened to it. Okay, so that is a scary uh, music disc called Eleven. So that one will usually freak out your victim, uh, if not make them leave the game of frightfulness. But that was music. Red Water. Um, I think we all know what that is if you've watched uh, my previous trolls with noobs. I like to troll noobs a lot, actually. So Red Water. Um, over here, you can see we have a trash can. And an uns unsuspecting Mallow will get pushed into this <laughs> lava and get the trapdoor shut on his head. Pushing people into lava is always fun, no matter what you're doing. Now I'm just whole burning. <laughs> it's, it's always a good time. We gotta place more lava down there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and as you can see, he has burned and all of his stuff has incinerated. So that is always something fun to do. Red water. I like to call it red water if you've watched the new video. If you haven't, I recommend you watch that. It's fun, so trolling with lava is pretty epic. And the last, but definitely not least thing that tends to come up in my videos is cobwebs. So, if Mallow's just walking around, <laughs> cobwebs come from every direction. I bet you feel defenseless right now. Yeah, I can't move. Yeah. My sword burned, so... <laughs> oh, now, now I'm done. First I'm world problem. Falling in this hole. No. Good luck getting out of that. But uh, yeah, those were just kind of some basic things I like to do. Cobwebs are always fun because, you know, uh, let me just get in the middle of these. Ah, They're really hard to move in unless you're in creative and you can just fly through them. But yeah, so these were just kind of some things. Up here, oh wait, that broke I think. If I do time day, see that comes up because of the, the magical, I don't even know what those are called, daylight sensors. But yeah, so this was just kind of a quick video if you want to... Uh, improve your trolling skills or just need some ideas on how to troll others uh, it's pretty awesome to make videos like this uh, I I would recommend it to most video starters on YouTube Minecraft trolling is always a good way to go and some people don't see the fun in it but I think it's awesome so if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful make sure you leave a thumbs up and maybe I'll do something again like this in another 50 episodes when uh, maybe my style is completely changed but yeah thank you Mallow for coming you're welcome so yes, uh, as you can see, his camera went on and off. His channel is in the description. Also, uh, I do a lot of other videos with him where his camera is turned on so we can switch back and forth. That is on another channel called The Gamer's Leak. You can go check that out. It's in my sub box on my channel, I believe. But yeah, so I just wanted to uh, change it up a bit. You know, trolling has been for the last probably five weeks without anything special other than my mom coming in about, I don't know, three weeks ago. But. That was pretty much it, guys. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. As always, stay sexy. See you guys. It's you and me. You're gonna be here all bring. Oh, you're my victim. For my fans, I entertain.